All Bladebridge configurations are funded by partners on behalf of end user projects and are not an endorsement by Bladebridge or its team members. Hello and welcome to the presentation of Bladebridge Converter. In this demo, I will show how to convert data stage jobs into Informatica Cloud or IICS mappings. I'm going to start with this data stage job. It's a medium complexity job. It has a source uh, object, a couple of target objects, a uh, couple of transforms, aggregator, and a filter transformation. Um, it's a combination of data stage and Oracle uh, technology stack, and I'll be converting this to IICS and Snowflake technology stack. So our converters, as a general rule, our ETL converters can uh, do dual conversions. They can uh, convert the ETL layer only, or they can, uh, they can, if instructed, can convert uh, ETL and the underlying or embedded SQL into the target technology as well. Uh, and all this is configuration-based, and I'll, I'll uh, dive into the uh, configurations and setup on how you can instruct our converters to do um, single-level or dual-level conversions. Now, uh, in order to run the converter, I'm going to navigate to our folder where the conversion, uh, where the converter is sitting. So our converters do not require a formal install. These are just command line utilities. Um, they they come in the form of an executable, and they dis they are distributed on Linux and Windows. So I'm going to go to the command line prompt. Uh, if I run this converter um, without any arguments, the converter will give me help and exit. That's the expected behavior. Um, but uh, in order to do the conversion, I need to provide the license key file and input date stage XML file that may contain multiple jobs. It depends on how the XML file was uh, exported. You can also create. Uh, you can also supply minus D option with the input data stage folder. So in case you have multiple files uh, from data stage, you can convert them all at once. The output folder into which the uh, converted ICS files will go, and a custom configuration file that will contain additional instructions to the converter um, that uh, tells the converter what our preferences are perhaps in the naming conventions or in the conversion patterns. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and, and show you my full command line. All right, so my full command line cons consists of all the parameters populated, the license key file, the input uh, XML file, output folder, this is a persistent file. This is required for IICS. Basically, the converter will keep track of all the internal IDs it generates for all the IICS objects, such as mappings, perhaps connections, um, objects, and so on, and the, config, and the pointer to, to the config file. Um, my output folder is this. So currently, it's empty, as expected. I'm going to go ahead and run the conversion. Basically, I will kick off this bat file. Convert takes just a few seconds to run. Okay, so what the converter produces is a zip file, which is importable into Informatica. Within that zip file, there are quite a few files and other zip files that are um, parsable by Informatic, but all I really need, need is this uh, root level zip file. I'm going to go back into my Informatica folder, click on import, and import or, or just drop this file in there. Okay, so the um, IICS importer found the mapping that got converted out of the data stage job with the same name and, and same folder. And it also found a um, mapping task. So on, on demand, um, the converter can produce a mapping task, which is just a wrapper. And 
you need that really in order to run the jobs and also in case you want to convert sequential date stage jobs, you'll need uh, that because the converters will produce uh, workflow tasks uh, out of sequential jobs. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on import. We'll check the log. All right, so import completed. So I'm going to go go ahead to to the explore uh, navigation option. So these are my artifacts that I just imported. And this is my mapping, and it's fully valid. So all I need to do is just realign or rearrange the uh, components, and I can click Save here. Now I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of what got converted and how that correlates to the original date stage job. All right, so let's start with the source node. Within the source node, we have Oracle-specific select statement. It's using the function months between. Uh, now, let me remind you that we are converting data stage Oracle combination to IICS Snowflake combination. Uh, the function months between does not exist in Snowflake. However, Snowflake has an, uh, an equivalent function. Besides having the select statement here, uh, this node also has a before SQL attribute populated. So what the converter did, it plugged in the um, source query. It actually converted the source query to use Snowflake's um, date diff function, and it changed the not only the function name call, but also it changed the signature of the function. So it changed the positions of the arguments and plugged in a, a default uh, value of months. It also plugged in the pre-SQL, which also got converted from Oracle to Snowflake. Now, moving along. So um, go, let, let's go into DS link 30. Now, whenever the converter sees a uh, transform in data stage, it will generate as many uh, transformations in Informatic as there are output links. The reason for that is each, each link may have its own um, filters, and the names of the columns within each link may collide, and we don't want to have conflicts. So for that reason, just to avoid any ambiguities or any column naming conflicts, the converter will actually create one transformation per output link uh, out of the transform. And the way it names it is um, using the original name of the transform underscore the name of the link. So if I go into DS30 link, all right, so here are my outbound links. This is my DS30 link. So it uses, so first of all, there, there's a variable here. So the converter actually created a variable as a part of my expression. Full name, first name, concatenate with a space, and last name. The syntax is different. In date stage, date stage uses columns in order to do string concatenation. So the converter handled that fine. Another thing that the converter changed is date since from date got converted to uh, IICS's date underscore diff with a changed signature. So the converter uses the same mechanisms for SQL level conversion and for ETL level conversion as far as the expression conversions. And all that is config based, and which I'll show you in a couple of minutes. Um, now the converter did the same thing for the other link. So in the other link, I, I've got a conditional statement, if, then, else, and uh, check for, for null. The way converter converted that is, again, if I click on DS link 40, the converter converted the if else uh, construct into IIF, which is Informatica's uh, standard for handling conditional statements. 
and the check for null got converted into a decode statement uh, with null as the first parameter. The reason, again, why the converter did that is because that's, how, that's what it was instructed to do in the config files. Um, now, the converter will continue converting uh, the pipeline from sources to targets, and it will handle every type of transformation or, or a com component or node, however you want to call it, in date stage. So, for example, our aggregator, here we're, we're doing counts, we're doing sums, um, and what the convert produced is this. So it, it's grouping, it produced a group by department name, and as it aggregates, it's um, doing a count or, or sum on, um, on the dummy column just to actually get the count. It's doing a total of days employed, and this is what um, the original code had and um, taking the minimum of as of date and writing it out into my target table. So if I look at field mappings, the convert ma map the fields as instructed. Now, um, as far as the connections are concerned, you can tell the converter how you want to map your original date stage connections to the target connections in the IACS environment. And you can provide defaults in case uh, connections are, are not mapped fully. So how does the converter know how to handle conversions? Um, there are configuration files, as I mentioned, that drive the converter. Our initial Ooh. configuration file, which is what I provided on the command line, tells the converter, uh, for example, what, what the org name is, what the project name is, um, the owner IDs, parent IDs, etc. So this is a one-time setup that we need to do. It usually takes about five minutes to set up this uh, portion of the, of the config file. Uh, other things that you can tell the, the um, converter to do is, for example, upcase source and target fields, um, upcase um, object names, or upcase expression operands. Sometimes it's it's desired to do so, especially if you're dealing with the um, with a database such as Snowflake. IACS expects the identifiers to be in uppercase, so for that reason, we have this option. Now, other things that you can do in the, in this main config file is you can point your ETL level conversion and your SQL level conversion. Um, to a certain configuration file. So let's start for the data stage to Informatica conversion file, which is this one. So um, this file, and this is a, stand, a standard formatted file for BladeBridge. We have several sections, such as line substitutions, function substitutions. There are many other ways to come up with the conversions within the BladeBridge tooling. But one of the most important sections is the function substitution uh, section, which tells the converter how to penetrate function calls and how to convert them. So for example, if we take the function days since from date, what this will uh, tell the converter to do is uh, as soon as it finds the function, uh, the function days since from date, it will generate this output template for this function call. And the way it works is that it will take the, the first parameter that was provided originally to this function, then the second parameter, and we'll plug in the um, constant dd. Similarly, it will take, uh, let's see, let, let, let's say upcase function call converts it to upper. So we don't need to specify the output template, it's just a function name conversion. Or if we want to uh, convert, let's say, is null function, uh, we, we told the converter to use the decode mechanism to do so. So you can build this li list infinitely, and um, one of the questions that might come up is how do I know what functions I, I need to include into the function substitution section in order to cover the conversion fully? And the answer is that you can run BladeBridge Analyzer on the source code, and the analyzer will tell you what all the functions are that are being referenced in the source code and how many times. And based on that, you can build out this list. 
and by the way, we do update this list quite frequently, uh, so we we always enhance it um, and polish it. So make sure to grab the latest version of, of this config file from our website. Similarly, we, we tell the converter how to convert Oracle to, to Snowflake SQL dialects. So one of the things that I demonstrate that we needed to convert was the function months between. So here I can tell the converter to take the function months between, convert that to date diff without the underscore because this is SQL level conversion, and do something with arguments. So there are a couple of ways to swap around the arguments. One of them is using the argument placement. The other one is, as I showed you in the other, in the other file, to use the output template, which is probably a simpler way to do this, and just provide tokens such as $1, $2, $3 to indicate the positioning of the arguments. By the way, these tokens um, indicate the positioning of the arguments, and they don't have to be just individual tokens. Those could be expressions or nested function calls being passed into other function calls. The converter will actually build a, <clears throat> build a tree internally and will convert each function call, whether it's nested or not, into the correct syntax. All right, so that concludes the presentation of um, BladeBridge Date Stage to IICS Converter. Uh, just to recap, we took a job, medium complexity job, that has several types of transformations or components and converted that uh, fully automatically into IICS representation of the same logic. Thank you for joining.